Bangladesh is one of the countries most seriously affected by climate change, constantly battered by cyclones, coastal surges, overflowing rivers and violent downpours. Climate refugees from across the country are pouring into the capital, Dhaka, where Hot Cities goes now on BBC World News. Dhaka, capital of Bangladesh. There are already 13 million people here. That is set to almost double in the next decade making this city one of the most densely populated places on earth. All these people are coming to Dakar because their rural homes are being destroyed. Bangladesh is the frontline state of climate change because of the multiplicity of impacts. Cyclones, bursting rivers, torrential rainfall. Climate change is felt here more than anywhere else in the world. Climate refugees from all over the country are pouring into Dakar, fleeing for their lives. This population explosion means the city is struggling to cope. For Dakar, it is make or break. To save the city, this influx has to be controlled. Many Bangladeshis are rising to the challenge. They are adapting their rural homes to the changing climate and they are staying put. Dhaka, a city surrounded by and crisscrossed by water. Two great rivers, often miles wide, flow from the southern slopes of the Himalayas to the Bay of Bengal in the south. Often it's more water than land, and the pressure on the land is already intense. Like many great cities around the world, from Lagos to Bangkok, from Shanghai to New York, rising river waters, increased rainfall, and a growing population are making life almost impossible. Erosion of the rivers. The rivers are very soft, the edges are muddy, and because of more hydrodynamic energy in the system, the Himalayan glaciers are melting faster, so a lot more water is coming in, and it's extremely flat. The water doesn't pass that fast, so there is a lot more flooding. The second is the increase in the number of cyclones and the intensity of those cyclones. In the last two years, there has been three major cyclones in the Bay of Bengal. Such a cyclone should be happening every 20 to 30 years. This is unprecedented and doesn't represent normalcy at all. Like any city, Dhaka has its fair share of high-rise office blocks and modern shops. Plenty of people are driving smart new cars. But the vast majority of the people are surviving on a dollar a day. They live in tightly packed slums and eke out a living on the streets. The lure of the city and the promise of prosperity and a better life is always there. But for many, it is difficult to achieve. There are climate change impacts already felt within Dhaka. One is this whole issue of migrating people coming, the poor who are displaced either in the coastal area or by riverbank erosion, who come and live in the slums and areas which are hardly inhabitable. That does put a huge stress on the city itself, life of the slum dwellers and everybody else. Climate refugees come from rural areas like this. This is the Kulna area in the southwest of the country, just after it was struck by a cyclone. The coastal surge was so great, water came 30 miles inland. The 
আর জল ঢোকার সাথে সাথে আমাদের ওই রান্নাঘরে ছিল ওটা একদম ওটা নিয়ে চলে গেল ওর কোনো চিহ্ন ছিল না থাকারও তো জায়গা ছিল না তখন সারা রাত একদম বর্ষায় সব ভিজা আর কি তারপরে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে একটা চাল নিয়ে চাল নিয়ে ওখানে দিয়ে সমস্ত ফ্যামিলি সবাই বাসার মধ্যে সবাই বসা তা ওর উপর সব জল সারা রাত ছেলে মেয়ে তো সব কান কানতিছে খাওয়ার জন্য সব কানতিছে তারপরে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে কার কোথায় বাড়ি ভাতটা তা আছে সবাই নিয়ে সে ভাত বাচ্চাদের সবার দিয়েছে আর আমরা ওখান থেকে দুই তিন দিন সব একদম সব না খাবো একদম অনাহারে ছিল Cyclones are not new to people in this area, but now they are more frequent and come with much greater force. No one expected the houses here to be flooded. So far from the sea, they were considered safe. To add to the immediate plight of being homeless, the land is now polluted with salt water. Nothing will grow for many years to come. Without a livelihood, Many of these people will end up trying their luck in Dhaka. While cyclones are making coastal areas ever more dangerous, inland areas are also under threat from vast and swelling rivers. Here, 300 miles from the sea, it is a case of moving on. These islands, called chars, are formed from silt deposits. Always vulnerable to erosion, the huge torrents of water flowing down from the melting Himalayan glaciers simply sweep them away. ওখানেও পাড়া ভাঙ্গা এই পাড়া আসল পাড়া বাংলা শেষ এখন তো আর লোকজনই নাই এখন আমরা আছি বাসাপুর যাই যাইছি এখন চলে যাব এখন আর আঙ্গুরের জায়গা কোনো স্থান নাই হ্যাঁ আমি এখানে পঞ্চাশ বছর ছিলাম আস্তে আস্তে বাংতি 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 একবারে শেষ মাথায় এসে গেছি স্থল ইউনিয়নের This man's six children used to live on the island with him. Five have gone. Now the last, a daughter, is also leaving. For now, this family is going to try living on a nearby island. But like many others from islands like these, the change in climate will mean they will probably end up in Dhaka. Life on the Chars is almost impossibly hard. From there, Dhaka may well look like a much safer and better option. But in the city, the slums are where most of the newcomers end up. Mohammed Yusuf brought his wife and five sons to live in Dhaka after a cyclone destroyed their farm. Now they all share one small room. মসিদ <laughs> মসিদের রান্নাবাড়ি করতে আছে খাইতে আছে 
It's tough for Yusuf's wife, Arju. She would prefer to be in the country. Instead, she has had to adapt to a very different way of life. Here, she has to share all the facilities. Yusuf became a rickshaw driver when he arrived in Dhaka. He has no money to buy one, and so has to rent one instead. For Yusuf, Dhaka was very much a last resort. He, like his wife, has had to adjust his lifestyle from farmer to urban poor. 